for the heart failure we used to use the leaves of digitalis lanata a plant and we used to have powder lanata and we used to give it crude but large dose small dose is all right today we have a refined digoxin tablet in the western a little extra dose a man may die a little less dose it's not effective i always say we have we now you, you go to a doctor today nobody examines you they simply write tests by the time you say head all the head scans are written by say chest all the chestings are written and this is where the problem comes a very prominent doctor very senior doctor in madras wanted to see me one day he called me and said sir i want to consult you i said okay come along so he came with a big file thick file he said sir i went to singapore general hospital and this is my file so treat me i said if i read that file and treat you i will treat you what they treated you with i want to examine you sir you want to examine me nobody has examined me he said i said no i want to examine because i was taught when i was a student that you must first a clinical examine a patient come to a conclusion and do one or two tests to either refute it or confirm it so he reluctantly removed his shirt and lay down on the table then i went and examined him for about half an hour and came to some conclusion which was different from what that file had shown he got better he was on a 28 tablets i gave him only two tablets and he went home and told his wife that man examined me like a third year medical student she was also a doctor she said then that's the right way to do it and that's how it happened so today we have lost that being a doctor is being compassionate and being a doctor you know a lot of people have a fight whether you should take english medicine or ayurvedic medicine there no caste system in medicine there's nothing called english medicine or ayurvedic medicine they are all medicines that's all they all come from the same source either from vegetables or from animals and they are all same they are refined a little more refined in the western medicine a little more crude in the eastern medicine that's all the difference like for example i still remember when i was a student for the heart failure we used to use the leaves of digitalis lanata a plant and we used to have powder lanata and we used to give it crude but large dose small dose is all right today we have a refined digoxin tablet in the western a little extra dose a man may die a little less dose it's not effective so the therapeutic and uh, the killer dose is very close to each other in the western system it's the, that's the curse of medicine more people die because of our medicines than probably without them adverse drug reactions adr is the commonest cause of death in the hospitals today and we you know you won't be surprised if you see the prescriptions this laundry list of prescriptions every doctor who comes to see because the specialist specialist is one who knows more and more about less and less until he comes to a stage where he knows more and more about nothing and you you see a head specialist gives head medicines the leg specialist gives leg medicines so total medicines will be 28 i saw one lady in chennai the other day mother of a very prominent family in chennai if i told you you will know who they are very prominent people so the son came and said sir please for my mother's sake please come home and see her i normally don't go anyway i went i saw this lady in a large air conditioned room where the windows are not open for donkey's ears and she is sitting there and the room was like himalaya so cold and she was sitting in a large bed never seen outside and and she had she was taking about 28 tablets so i examined her and told the son first thing is put all the tablets into the waste paper basket then i said open all the windows and put her outside in the sun for one hour you will be surprised the lady who was not able to get out of bed is now able to walk to the music uh, academy in chennai and she is very happy with only just one or two tablets but sunlight sunlight is the best medicine and probably what is important is water is the next medicine and there is a nice saying you know a lot of people say vaidyo narayana hari doctor is god nobody said that do you know what it said sharire jarjari bhute vyadigraste vaidyo narayana hari and toyam janaviya toyam as you know when you are very seriously ill and about to die your best doctor is god himself and the best medicine is ganga jal both are true even today in in 2018 that shloka is absolutely true and no vaidyo narayana hari is not you are not called god god is the best doctor which is true because you know even today i always say you pray to god even if you go to your best doctor because without praying to god the doctor will send you to heaven or hell without knowing where to send you and i always console my patients don't worry the people are terribly worried about uh, you know dying so i console them why worry 
death you must know everybody has to die that's where you aiming at dharma artha kama moksha of course now if you go into advaita you can get moksha in this life itself what's called jivan mukti but if you don't you die and go to moksha and where do you go either you go to hell or heaven well you are a good man your account is very good so you must go to heaven so if you go to heaven that's where you wanted to go all your life so you are happy per chance god has not kept the account book correctly and you go to hell so what so many of your friends are there you are happy there so in either case you are happy so you are happy why worry so not worry and not worrying is one of the ways of getting your diseases cured